April Morrow down at the Auburn Eagles just did a cha cha class. I'm going to jam through what we did and then I'll break a little bit of it down for you. Um, we started with a two way underarm turn. Actually, I'd like to do that from the position. Ready? And one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, nine. All right, so then from there, I'm going to do that from this way, and um, we went into some triple lock chaws. We took the ladies for, uh, oh, sorry, to the side, <laughs> one, uh, to the side, and one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, triple, and triple. So I did three triples there, triple, and triple, and triple, and rock steps. So what I'm doing here is rhythm break, and another one, and another one, and then I'm going to finish that up. And then I'm going to go back to my natural rhythm and slower down. Rock step, shuffle, and rock step. Good. There we go. All right. So then from there we went into oh we did um, open right with a hand change and the lead half to fake for one, two, three, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight, a uh, one, two, three. Make the hand change. Rock, step, draw, run in, rock, center to the side, rock, center to the side, rock, step, and last one over, I'm just going to open her up a little bit more here, tripling her out, making the fake, rock, stepping, tripling, rock, stepping, and end again, nice, okay, so um, in the first pattern that we did with the two-way underarm turn, um, after we take her from the box step, let's make sure that we draw the hand down so she knows that we're going to go into an opposition break and she'll compress equally for us. We're going to rock step her right there. Please make sure that as you draw her forward on her triple that you're not taking the hand all the way up and over bringing it down until the upbeat of one or five. All right, we don't want to rotate that lady too soon. She turns on the one and the five, and that's where we leave the turn. Then we're going to rock step right there, sending her back out once again, not leading that turn until the very, very last minute right there. All right, so all the way through from the top, one, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, a step back in right there when you're done, right there on count five. And then rock step her into that opposition break, take her to the side, turn her, and pick her back up. Good job. All right, now the triple um, rhythm lock shawl that we did, make sure that you're sending a lot of energy, more than you normally would, or she won't know you're going to break the rhythms right there, right? So I'm just going to get her going on the two, three and do my triple. If I want her to do more than one triple, I gotta go at her, and at her, and rock step, and really take her with me, so that she feels that, and then I slow it back down when I wanna go back to my basic rhythm, so that she doesn't continue to triple out right there. Um, let's see, and the one where we did to the open right in the, uh, Two, two different ways that you can do this, please. One, two, three. We brought the hand down. We gave her an outside turn. We rotated her. We brought the hand down. Right. Now, let me do this in here. Um, right here, I can hammer lock her down, low, right? Or I can do it up high and take her into sweetheart dance position. So it's your choice right there either way. So then you'll see the hand. So make sure right there that you're not making that weight change because you want to rock back with her on the same foot. And you've got to make the fake to get out of it. So when you turn her out right here, once again, don't step and then rock with her. So you've got to hold that one right there before you two three right there. All right, good job. All right, thank you. Thank you, bud.